Hi guys, it is Tuesday morning. Good morning to you all. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. It's a beautiful day here in Ireland. It's already 12 degrees, 12 degrees? Yeah, outside, which is great because it's not even, it's not even 10 o'clock. So that's pretty amazing. I'm just heading home this morning. I have a lot of work to do. Um, I just checked my emails this morning. I'm kind of up to date, but I need to get home and do a couple of other bits that I just couldn't do whilst in Paddy. So, and also I just wanna do some laundry and etc. go see my parents and I haven't been home since the loss of Angel. So I just really wanna go home and see them and I'm kinda like ready for that now. I don't know, just kinda go home and see the house when I wear. I know this sounds really blue for a Tuesday morning, but it's just, I don't know, I, I guess because I'm so used to her being in our house that I just I'm I'm you know I'm not I'm not sure what way to what way the house is going to be but I will definitely feel a little bit like there's something missing definitely just got a ice macchiato from Insomnia plastic straws I nearly died when he gave me a plastic straw I was like I have not seen a plastic straw in a year at least I asked him did he have a paper straw and he said they didn't have any so I had no straws in my car. I left them in Paddy's. We have metal straws over there. And I didn't think, because like I said, I haven't seen a plastic straw in the longest time ever. This insomnia macchiato is way better than the Starbucks one. It's just more flavorsome. It's more rich with the coffee. The milk tastes nicer. I don't know, it's just a much nicer drink. And when I make it at home, I try to like replicate that as best as I can. I don't think I've ever done it. He went out for dinner last night, as you would have seen in yesterday's vlog. I had the nicest dinner ever. Today is officially our anniversary, but obviously we're not spending it together because we've spent like the last week together celebrating. I need to take this jumper off. It's very, very warm. I'll wait till I get to the traffic lights. I have like the aircon on in the car and I'm still sweating. I got stuff in pennies actually over the weekend. I might do a little haul later on for you guys. It's nothing very exciting. I think I got mostly jammies and yeah mostly jammies I think so there's not really a whole lot in it to do a big haul so I said I'd just feature it in a vlog here you guys can see what I got and I also tried out my new Mac I'm in the traffic lights now I also tried out my new Mac concealer palette thing this morning because I just filled it in my eyebrows just really wanted to test it out this morning and um, I think it did a really good job it's pretty nice concealing palette um, I like it so far. Oh, there we go. Green light. Let's see how it wears throughout the day because I think that Cinema Secrets one is the best one that I've ever tried. I just think it's so good. It's like the perfect consistency and it just blends really well in my eyebrows. The only thing is there's like two shades in it that I don't use. Like if they had a trio or you could just buy the, the refills, that would be amazing. But you have to buy the whole palette again. And I just said I'd try something different because I think I might use more of the colors out of that other one. Oh God, guys, I'm so excited get my hair done I know I kind of harp on about that all the time but it's been seven months since I've had anything done with my hair and I just can't wait to get a massive chop on my hair and get my color done like I just feel like it's the last thing I really 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 want to get done I feel like I would just be so much happier with a fresh haircut like it's just gone to rags it's, it's really like ratchet and raggedy and the ends need to be cut and it's damaged at the bottom where there's old blonde and the top has grown out so healthy and nice obviously but I just want it all to be kind of uniform so I really just want to get a good chop and I'm getting my hair done on Thursday week so less than 10 days from now is that not the most exciting thing ever this is my last weekend with crappy hair that needs to be dyed and styled and um, I just can't wait I'm living for getting my hair done somebody commented in my last video the one I got my nails done in and she was like oh my god nails like they're not really that important sort of thing and, and just kind of like there's more important things in life basically and my argument to that is you know that you do you boo um I really want to get my nails done it makes me feel better it lifts my mood and it's great for my mental health the same with your hair like what is the problem I don't understand people's problems with like people getting their nails their hair done their toes waxes whatever it may be to pamper yourself facials like somebody always has to comment it's not really that important it's not what well, actually I find that it is important the cocktails last night were super delicious as well I really want to make that coco lada drink myself or coco loco was it coco no coco lada it was called I'd love to make it myself it was really simple it's just like Malibu coconut milk which I 
I don't know if that's the one you put into the curry. It just seems like a very thick thing to put into a drink, but I don't know, that's what was in it. White chocolate. I don't know if they grate it in, but I'm gonna look up a recipe or something. And then pineapple juice. Normally I would have Malibu and pineapple juice as a mixer for like a summer drink. That's what I would normally have in the summertime. I love Malibu. It is quite sweet, but that's why I only have it in like the summertime. Like, you know, if you're out at a barbecue or something, you're not like drinking them all night or anything like that. You're just having maybe one or two. I just think that they're delicious. I love Malibu and pineapple juice. It tastes yum. But those cocktails last night were so nice. I loved them. I'm home. I just got this new dress from Bershka. I really like it because it has like a open back on it. I don't know if you can see. My sister's home, which is nice to see her. She's home for a few days. And then I also got a, oh, sorry, my breath, I ran upstairs. I also got a package as well from KVD Beauty. So I'll show you what I got, because it's a couple of um, new bits. I also got my Revolut card in the post, finally, because I've had like Revolut for so long and I never actually ordered the card, so I never was really using it properly. And then um, another top from Bershka, which I'll show you that now. Little top from Bershka looks like it's so cute. It has, are they sunflowers? Yeah, I would say they're sunflowers. It's gonna say daisies, but no, they're definitely sunflowers. They're so cute. And it's like a crop top and it zips up the front. I love little tops like this, especially for the summertime. I just think they're really simple. I also think that this top was like seven euro or something, which is totally inexpensive. And then these are the KVD vegan products that I got. So I got the Locket Concealer, which I've had before, but the shade was the wrong shade. So now I have the right shade. We'll see how we get on. I also got the Fox Glove Everlasting Blush. I got the Tattoo Liner, which is really, really, really great. And I haven't actually used that tattoo liner in a long time. My last one dried out and I remember giving out about it and like, oh my God, not my last one, my first one dried out before I even got to use it and I was giving out saying it was so crap. But I think I got sent another one in PR and I was like, oh my God, it's actually really, really good. It's just that my one was like dried out because it wasn't that black. And I was like, there's definitely better ones from the drugstore. But when I got it the second time in PR, it was really good. So I got another one of them. And then the Signature Brow. I think I've talked about this before. This is one of the best brow products. I absolutely love it. I definitely featured it in the favourites. And um, I got my shade, just if you're wondering, in medium brown. And then two lip liners, Bone Arrow and Lolita. Lolita, or Bone Arrow, sorry, is like my favourite lip liner ever. I wear that quite a lot. And then the other one is Lolita, which I'll show you what they look like. So the top one is Lolita. The bottom one is Bone Arrow. And that's just what they look like there. So the darker one is Lolita. And the lighter one is Bone Arrow. They're just amazing, really creamy and long lasting lip liners. Adore them. That's what Fox Glove looks like, the blush. I wear the one in, oh, I don't know what it's called. Is it Peony Pink or something? Hang on, I have it right here. No, Honeysuckle, I should have known that. And I wear that quite a lot, but I really love that kind of dusty pink shade. And the one beside it there is Honeysuckle. That's the one that I wear all the time. Like it's one of my favorite ones. So I'm very excited to use that. And then I'll show you the concealer because the rest is just kind of a brow pencil and a tattoo liner. I think you kind of get the drift. So that is the concealer. I got the shade M19 and it's cool. So it kind of has a little bit of a pinky undertone. I'll see, can I find the other one in my collection? Hang on one sec. So yeah, that's the old one that I had and it was in the shade, as far as I'm aware, 15 neutral, L neutral. I don't know, presuming that says light and then presuming M stands for medium, but it comes off very light. They look very similar side by side, but I'll swatch them for you. So you can see them there side by side. Obviously the light one, 15, is very, very, very light. Like you can imagine that underneath your eye, it would just be a little bit stark and that's kind of the problem I have with it and why I didn't like it as much. And whereas the other shade has definitely a little bit more of a honey undertone to it as well, which that's kind of more along my lines of the type of concealer that I like because I prefer to kind of counteract any dark circles and I definitely find that it does that if it's a little bit more of like a honey peachy undertone. I just blend them out there. They're very, very full covered. So a little bit of these goes a long way. I'm delighted to have new concealers because to be honest, I haven't had a decent concealer in a long time 
and I was kind of getting sick of the Catrice one. I just wanted to try something different. So there we go. Oh, thank you so much to the KVD Vegan Beauty for sending those out to me. And um, the girls at the PR team are super nice and they always send me like really fun things to try or ask me if there's anything new that I want to try and I just really appreciate that. So thank you so much. Also do my little pennies haul, show you guys what I got in here. Nothing too exciting, but just a couple of little bits and pieces that you might want to see. The first thing I'll start with is the things on the top here, which are little sandals. These are really cute little gladiator type sandals. I haven't bought sandals in a very long time. I know I have a couple underneath my bed that are nice and stuff, but I just wanted a new gold pair that are really simple that you can kind of wear them with anything and just throw them on, not be worrying about them. I'm not mad about penny sandals. Like I find that you wear them maybe three or four times and they're kind of falling, well, with me, I usually kind of, the front part nearly starts separating from the, the sole, which kind of irritates me, but they're eight euro, like they're not you know, breaking the bank or anything like that. So I got them first. I needed new wipes. I was actually talking about getting the biodegradable wipes. Someone said they had them in Aldi, but anytime I'm in Aldi, they don't have them. Um, I'm going to like the baby section and then I'm going to the cosmetic section and I can't find them anywhere. So either I'm, they're not in my Aldi or I'm looking in the wrong place. Can you guys please let me know? Cause I'm sick of using these type of wipes. But to be honest, I don't buy them very regularly. I think the last time I bought a pair or a pair, a packet of wipes was probably back in March. It's just, I do need them for like, you know, cleaning up like spillages or your hands or whatever. They're just, they do come in handy, but I, they're not environmentally friendly. So if you guys do know like what the Aldi ones are called or the biodegradable ones, please let me know if there's other brands or something. Or am I looking in the wrong place? Is the baby section not where you should be looking? Or the cosmetic section? Is there somewhere else? <laughs> in the household section? I don't know. But yeah, I got them anyway. Then I got a little underwear set. So this is the bottoms naturally. And ooh, the top. Oh God, everything's coming out. Oh, hang on. Look at this. Like just a big tangle of stuff. There we go. So that is what the top looks like. They didn't actually have my cup size. So I sized up. I'm normally a B. But I said I'd go up and get the C and just see. <laughs> we'll see with the C. Because I just really liked this bra. It looks like something very expensive. It's kind of like silky and then it has like mesh here. It has a little gold thing here. The bottoms are not the actual match off them. But they're the closest I could find. And I kind of have a lot of underwear that would match these anywhere. Anyway. But I just thought that they looked really nice and I just wanted to get like a kind of set. So I just thought that they were cute. Then I got jammy. So this is the top that I got. If you can see that there. So it's just like a sheer kind of cami top. And um, this was 7 euro. Actually, sorry, the, the bra of this was 10. And then the underwear of the set or the mismatch set were 4 euro. Just if you're wondering. So that the top was seven and then I got the jammy bottoms off it which I just thought that these were really really cute so that's what the bottoms look like and they were oh I don't know how much they were oh they were 12 euro so they are like ankle length I'd say ankle grazers and they're just really really cute so I just liked that set and I have what would you call it like a silk dressing gown that's similar in color to this it's a little bit more of a more like kind of that kind of color pink but I just thought it'd be nice with them and then I got two other pairs of underwear because hello you can never have enough so I got this pair um which is just a black pair and then I got this blue pair I sized up in them because they didn't have my actual size so I'm hoping that they're not like too long in the crotch <laughs> you know what I mean and then I got these little earrings I'm not really mad about the bottom ones they kind of are I don't know what you'd say like little you know, they're like little dangly bits, but I kind of bought them for the top set. I just thought that they looked really cool. And they're only three euro for the pack of them. Um, maybe Ollie might like the bottom ones, I'll ask her. But I, I really like these ones all at the top. I think they're lovely. And then the final thing I got was these short top pajamas. And I got them with Marie on them, of course. Because if you know me, you'll know I absolutely love Marie. And it just says feeling sleepy on them. And that's what the front is. It's like that mint colour. And then the shorts are little white polka dot spots shorts normally all my pajamas are pink so when i saw these i was like yeah we need to get like 
a different shade of pajamas we need to branch out so that's all i got in pennies sorry last thing i did get they're in the bottom of the bag with the 3d vixen lashes every time i go into pennies i get these i go through them quite a lot people normally ask me um when i'm wearing these what lashes they are they're the only lashes that i wear or i actually have another pair here that i've bought in pennies before but it's either these ones or them so if they're a bit more dramatic it's these and if they're a bit more simple it's either the Primark exclusive which are called Tempt Me or those Catrice ones they're the only lashes that I wear so they're the ones I would wear on a day today and if I want like to be a bit more glam I would go with the 3D Vixens I love them they're just the best lashes ever and they last so long I actually find the more you wear them the nicer that they look as lashes go I just tied my hair up in a bun, it's not going very well. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go outside, work and listen to my book while I'm doing that, sure why not. I'm nearly finished the book, I can't believe it, like I've just been addicted to it and binging it. It's the Holly Madison book, if you know, if, if you know, you know. <laughs> just my beautiful flowers I brought home, Patty got me for our anniversary, aren't they just gorgeous? Lilies are my favourite flowers and I just love them. He did really, really well. <laughs> he got me a perfume as well, my black opium from YSL but these are just spectacular like they're just so pretty oh and here's my parents new garden furniture I haven't put all the cushions on it just yet but I uh, remember they were hadn't set it up yet uh, the last time I've shown you guys but it looks so cool and it's very very comfy this is where I'm going to be working from for the next little while Chewy did you get a treat are you a good boy no more Chewy, it might be a bit hot for you. <laughs> it's too hot. Go get a drink. <laughs> get a drink. Not the head on me. <laughs> I'm um, just after having dinner with my fam outside. We've been sitting out all evening. It's been so lovely and warm and just... Well, I wouldn't say like warm, but it's been mild out and it was just so nice to sit outside and have spaghetti bolognese in the night air and just, you know, it was just lovely. I am editing a video and it's the one from Kilkenny and I'm just after getting to the part where we're in the forest and I didn't actually realise... Like, I was crying so bad right before this bit and obviously I didn't want to talk about, like what had happened obviously I just found out that Angel had passed away and it's just at that bit right now and there's literally mascara all over my face like all down my chin and on my neck and everything so if you are watching that video and you do see that you know why because I think it's pretty evident that I'm crying but I never addressed it in the video because it wasn't really the time but I uh, yeah just if you do see that part you'll know why like literally look at the tears falling down my face and the mascara look at this mascara everywhere who did I think I was fooling? <laughs> so I think I'm actually gonna edit another vlog. I feel like I'm on a roll. A couple of vlogs up like this week. And I'm gonna try and do a sit down video this week. If I can, work is manic tomorrow. Like, I mean, I'm up on Zoom calls from, I think half eight is my first one. And if they're going on all day. So I feel like tomorrow is just not gonna be the day. Look, I need to put my laundry with. I feel like tomorrow is actually not gonna be the day for sitting down to vlog but, or sitting down to film a video but maybe Thursday I might get to do that so fingers crossed but I'm really really sorry that it's just been vlogs lately and there's been no kind of sit down videos it's just I literally haven't had a second in the day and I'm trying to meet my friend Neve tomorrow on her lunch break because I haven't seen her little boy and she had him nearly two months ago just with Covid and everything and I'm just finally getting to see people again so hopefully everything going well I can see her on my lunch break and then maybe on Thursday if I get a lot of my work done that I can sit down and actually film for you guys and um yeah I'm gonna love you's and leave you's right now I'm gonna put away my laundry do a bit of a clean up of this room and then when when this video is exporting and then edit my next vlog so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I will talk to all of you guys tomorrow Mwah. love you guys